wasn't giving into the hype, wasn't gonna buy anything from Fenty, and then a sponge. They always get me with the sponges. <laughs> Hey guys, it's V, and today we are going to be, that's right, testing out the Fenty Beauty Precision Makeup Sponge. This is a $16 sponge available at Sephora. It is the new brand that Rihanna recently came out with. If you didn't know that she came out with a brand, you've probably been living under a rock because it has been hot news for the past couple of months, very highly anticipated. I had no idea she was going to come out with a sponge, and really just sponges are the one thing I can't resist. I love love a good makeup sponge. I try out all kinds of different sponges. I've done multiple videos on them. So I had to do a demo on this sponge. And I thought today that I would do a comparison as well because I feel like that's the only way to really test out if a sponge is good is if it's as good as another one. So I have got the OG Beauty Blender. I tried to clean it as best as I could, but it's a little stained right now, but it is currently already damp because I just cleaned it. But we're gonna test them out together today. So first off, let's go ahead and go to the Sephora website and see what they have to say about this little $16 sponge because that's a little bit on the steep side. I usually don't spend that much on my sponges. I love the Eco Tool sponge that is like six bucks. So let's go ahead and see what they have to say. All right, so it already has six reviews and it is just barely under five stars. It's like 4.8 stars from what it looks like here. So as far as details go, it is a three-sided makeup sponge designed without latex, perfect for applying and blending all formulas. So I guess the selling point is that it doesn't have latex, good for people with latex allergies. What it does is know how to play all your angles. This plush three-sided makeup sponge takes the blending to the next level with triple threat precision. You use these slanted edge for controlling stippling, the mini moon edge for targeting coverage, perfect for the under eyes, and the rounded edge for all over buffing. No matter the formula, liquid cream or powder, the precision makeup sponge lets you customize your coverage as it delivers fast, easy, seamless results every time. What else you need to know? Rihanna wanted to ensure the texture and bounce of this sponge was just right and that the angles would be perfect for both buffing all over and getting into the difficult corners of the face and Fenty Beauty is 100% percent cruelty free. All right, so Rihanna herself made sure that this sponge was perfection. So let's go ahead and open it up. But first off, let me show you guys the packaging. It is very, very cool. I like the chicness of the packaging here. You can see it's got a little picture of my little sponge on here. It also says precision sponge on the top. And yeah, so let's see what it says here. Precise, versatile, expert blending for all formulas. Use damp for buildable coverage or dry for full coverage. Well, I'm going to wet it because that's how I like to do things but let's take it out and see what it looks like I'm very excited to try this little sponge oh it's in a little like kind of plastic baggie all right see Ooh. okay uh, first impression is very squishy and very nice and it's kind of little it's a little bit smaller than I mean like this beauty blender is wet but you know it's a little bit smaller than it kind of reminds me a little bit of the beauty blusher this is my first ever nude sponge you want to see me naked 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 right <laughs> but this is my first ever nude colored sponge so I'm excited to uh, not be able to look so dirty when it has foundation on it possibly hopefully but it's got that very very long side here it's got a cute little booty cute little naked booty and it's also got a little slanted edge on the top here so we are going to go ahead and get this bad boy wet and we will be back here in a second but here is what it looks like dry so you guys can see what it looks like all right you guys and this is what it looks like wet i will put a little side by side so you guys can see it definitely grew quite a bit in size i was it feels even squishier and nice it's great honestly it feels really really good so far compared to the beauty blender this is what it looks like like so very very similar in size I mean if this had a tip on it it would probably look just about the same as the beauty blender I mean just a little bit smaller so not too different in size so I don't think that that would be a big factor so let's go ahead and get to testing this first off I'm gonna put on some foundation primer which I'm gonna use my NYX Hydra Touch this is one of my favorite primers of all time as you can see, I am pretty much out of it, but I got a little bit out of the cap there. So let me apply this on my face really quickly here, and then we can get into testing out these sponges, because I am excited. 
after feeling how soft and squishy that one is, I'm really, really excited. Also, just want to quickly mention, I bought this with my own money. Obviously, Rihanna has no clue who I am, so she did not send this to me. Not that that would change my review in any way, shape, or form, but I did purchase this myself off of Sephora.com. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in and let's get started. So Pikachu Clippy is going to activate now to get the foundation from getting on my hair. I was gonna say to get the foundation out of my face, but we want that. So I'm gonna be testing this out with my trusty Revlon Color Safer Normal to Dry in the Ivory shade. And uh, I would be testing out this with the Fenty Beauty Foundation, but Sephora did not include my sample. Even though they let you choose your samples, they decide just to not throw them in every once in a while. So it's pretty much pointless stupid. Anyways, let's go ahead and get a pump of my Revlon Color Stay. I'm kind of running out right now, so I probably won't be able to get a ton out, but that is what we've got there. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, put this on my face and use my Fenty Precision Sponge to blend it out and see how it does compared to a beauty blender. All right, so I would say that's about how much I usually put on my face. So let's get to blend in here with this thing. so soft okay looks like it's giving good coverage and it's really soft now I did say to use it dry for like full coverage but I'm not a dry sponge person even though this sponge was really really soft I could actually see using it dry for some people if you like a dry sponge but I personally like a damp sponge I feel like it gives a nicer finish to the skin but it doesn't look like it's soaking up too much foundation. I can see that it's a little bit discolored now with the color of my foundation, but it's blending pretty nicely so far. Now this sponge is $16, so it is pretty up there in price. So I'll have to decide if uh, the price is worth it with this one, but I mean, it blended out my foundation really nicely. So I'm not mad at how that worked. I'm just gonna take a little bit more foundation on my hand here because I have some acne scarring that I kind of want to build up coverage a little bit. Let's see how that does with that. And I'm not putting much foundation on my nose because I like to put concealer on my nose. But that is what it looks like blending out with the Fenty sponge. I feel like it actually did a good job. And I'm happy with it. It's very, very squishy, like I said. So I feel like that did good. Let's go ahead and do the beauty blender on the other side and see if there's any difference. All right, so let's go ahead and dot foundation on this side of my face and see. Feeling these two sponges, this one feels way softer than the beauty blender, honestly. Like if you just look at the textures really up close, I feel like you can kind of tell. Like this one just feels really, really soft. This one feels really similar to my Eco Tools sponge that I really love. So yeah, let's go ahead and go in with the Beauty Blender. Blend this out here. I have to sneeze. I have to sneeze. I have to sneeze. Hey! <coughs> oh my God, that was one of my one of my higher pitch ones for sure. Okay, let's go and blend it out with the Beauty Blender. I think that the Fenty Beauty one gave me a little bit more coverage, at least on my cheek, but I did build it up a little bit more on this side, so it could just be because I applied a little bit more foundation on that side of my face. But as far as like blending everything, I feel like these both blended out really, really nicely. And I honestly like the Fenty Beauty one better than the Beauty Blender in terms of like softness. I feel like it's super, super squishy and soft and it felt just like a little pillow on my face. I love it. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do my um, brows really quickly and then we will get into my under eye concealer and powder and everything like that and see how it works that way. I just finished my eyebrow pencil. Oh my god, no, I love this thing. All right, so I am back with my brows on and I am ready to do some under eye concealer. So I'm really excited to see how the Fenty one blends this out because it said it was perfect for blending under eyes. So I'm gonna take some of my concealer here, do my normal thing, get the inner corner of the nose there and just blend all of this out with the new Fenty sponge. Okay, I'm trying to think of how this is going to be the best way to blend. Maybe like this? Or would it be better like this? I feel like this would be best, right? I don't know. I can't decide. Or like this? No, that's not going to be the best. Maybe like 
No. I'm gonna go with this. We'll try this one. <laughs> okay, that was pretty instant, which is awesome. You know, I'm gonna try it with the outside. I feel like that would be a little bit easier. There we go. It gets into the inner corner of the eye very well, so that's really good. Okay, okay. Blends on the nose pretty seamlessly as well. Wow, and the coverage is still really there too, which is nice. It did get a little bit on my eyelid, which I don't love. Oh shit, now I'm blending shit out. No, no. Okay. I mean, blended out that mistake pretty easily though. Okay. I think that was super quick and blended really, really nicely. So let's go ahead and take the beauty blender on the other side and uh, see if it's as easy. Pull into this baby out. I feel like the beauty blender is a little bit fat to get on your under eyes. Like I feel like the beauty blusher does a little bit better of a job just because it's not so big and it doesn't like, you know, make a huge scene all up in the inner part of your eye. But I mean, it still blended it out just as well. I feel like it looks pretty similar in on both sides. Doesn't really look too different to me. But yeah, okay, so let's move on to powder and let's set the face with some powder. I'm gonna be using this Besame Lavender setting powder stuff because I'm trying to use this up. I got this as a sample like forever ago. So let's go ahead and take some on my Fenty sponge here and just set the under eye. I love that powder. It's super, super brightening. Really, really nice. And just whatever excess, pat on the nose, pat on this area, but really just kind of focusing it on that under eye. That worked out just fine. Now let's take my beauty blender and do the same thing. Okay, blend that out on the nose. Well, I would say that that worked with powder pretty well on both sides. I don't usually set my face with powder, only if I know that I really need it to set all day long, but I don't need that today. So yeah, I mean, Honestly, I think I like the Fenty Beauty one better than the original Beauty Blender because it's softer and I feel like it got the job done just as well. It's $4 cheaper. I don't know if I would say I like it better than my EcoTools sponge, but I do really like the shape of this one. This one is a little bit different than my EcoTools sponge just because it's a little bit wider on the top here, which I feel like got into the crevice of my under eye very, very easily. It blended out my foundation just as well as the Beauty Blender did. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my makeup up really quickly and I will be back with you guys in a second. Okay, so my makeup is fully on now. Went with something very simple, very quick, just because this is about the foundation and the concealer. So I want to ask you guys, do you see any difference in my foundation? Because I really don't see any difference in foundation. I don't see any difference in concealer. I don't see any difference in coverage. I feel like the Fenty side and the Beauty Blender side both look really, really good. So that is good news for me. So overall, I would say I am really excited to own this sponge, although you can definitely see my foundation has made it a little bit dirtier, so it is not, um, you know, perfectly dirt proof. It's still going to look kind of nasty once I get my foundation all covered over it, but I'm really excited that I bought this, you guys. Do I think that it's worth 16 whole dollars? Probably not just because my ego tools one that's six dollars I'm sure works just as well as this because I've tested it against the beauty blender and it works exactly the same to me um, Personally, I think that this sponge is really nice I think that if you're wanting something from Fenty Beauty and you know you're gonna get use out of it You just are a big Rihanna fan and you really want to get something from her line If you know you use sponges this one is actually a great sponge I can see why it has such good reviews so far because I can't 
can't think of a single thing I don't like about it. So I'm really happy that I purchased it. I'm glad that I was able to do this demo for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to show some love to the like button down there. It really, really helps my channel out to get out to more people that can join the Muse fam because if you subscribe, you can become a member of my Muse family and I love you guys so, so much. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys!